ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme Video, the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 28th of August. I'm James Spann. And uh, tropics, that's the topic. Let's get right to it. Quit beating around the bush here. Let's look at the uh, sky cams. First off, the uh, Birmingham camera. This afternoon, looking uh, south in the top of the Daniel Building, a few scattered cumulus clouds, otherwise a good deal of sunshine. The same sky from Tuscaloosa, looking east from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. And our Gulf Shores camera. The pier you see under construction, that is replacing the one that was destroyed by Hurricane Ivan in 2004. The uh, public pier down there. And here we are in 08 with another potential for a major hurricane coming up from the south. More than likely, landfall will be a little west of there, but still, you bet there's some nervous eyes watching from the Alabama Gulf Coast, and that camera vantage point will be very interesting to watch in coming days. Water vapor satellite shot up here in uh, the uh, lower 48. Nice trough coming through the upper Midwest. That'll bring some fall weather down into the northern Plains states. A little flare convection ahead of that, but all the actions in the tropics. Look at that. One, two, three lined up, and really four lined up. Uh, the three, uh, you've got a, a wave in the Bay of Campeche, Gustav, and Hannah. Let's talk about them. Here's a look at Gustav. Thing weakened all day yesterday. Now it's intensifying pretty rapidly. It looks like a hurricane. Outflow is excellent. And it's near Jamaica. And uh, where's it going? Well, let's look at modeling. This is the 12Z set of models. The general idea, the models bring it up toward southeast Louisiana in line with the thinking we've had in recent days, but we note there are some outliers. And let me just say this now. There's some school of thought beginning to creep in here. You'll see in the GFS in a bit of a blocking high developing north of this thing. If that's the case, uh, that thing could stall out near the coast or just south of the coast and drift west toward the upper Texas coast. Again, we've said everybody from Corpus Christi to Tampa has got to watch this. And there's still many questions unanswered. That's just one idea. The uh, GFDL is on the east side of the envelope there. It brings the thing up toward Gulf Shores. In fact, uh, we'll take a look at the GFDL, uh, a closer look. And in the higher grid resolution, it's got it coming right up there, at, literally at uh, Fort Morgan and Fort Gaines, coming right up into Mobile Bay. Uh, and uh, the pressure there, 952 millibars. And it uh, looks like that would be uh, right at Category 3 strength, uh, uh, kind of borderline strong 2. Uh, maybe a three, and that would really, really foul up Alabama's Gulf Coast. But remember, that, that's a little bit of an eastern outlier right now. The Hurricane Wharf model deepens it to 932 millibars, and it brings it up toward the western Louisiana coast, pretty far west of New Orleans. If that's the case, New Orleans would be spared any damage. And the greater issues would be uh, places like uh, uh, Lake Charles, so, again, that's one school of thought. How about the European? This is interesting. You know, it was a very strong hurricane on the last run we saw. Now it's got a weaker tropical system coming right up at New Orleans, but not a strong one. And finally, I wanted to show you the MM5 run by Florida State. That can be a fairly decent model, and uh, it really never develops the thing into a major hurricane. It's got it as a Category 1 on a steady northwest track toward uh, uh, Port Arthur or Beaumont, Texas. So there's a lot of model madness here, and there's still not the firm answers you're looking for. Let's look at uh, Hannah. Oh, first off, the track. Never showed you the official track. Come on now, let's get to the uh, the map everybody's looking for. This is the official track from the National Hurricane Center, and they bring Gustav up into a point uh, really not too far from Morgan City. They've nudged their track a little to the east. Uh, 8 o'clock Tuesday morning, landfall but really between Morgan City and uh, Buras, Louisiana. And uh, that would uh, cause a lot of wind and rain for New Orleans and Baton Rouge, but uh, the core of the real serious damage would be a little to the uh, uh, west, perhaps, of New Orleans on that track. Uh, and again, you can see the cone of uncertainty extends all the way from Apalachicola to Freeport, Texas. And uncertainty is the word here. We just don't know the intensity. We don't know if that's right or not, but that's a pretty good track at this point. Uh, there is a look at uh, Hannah. That's our new tropical storm east-northeast of Puerto Rico, modeling on that. Oh, boy, bends it back toward the uh, Bahamas and slows it down. Here's the official track from the Hurricane Center. They've got it uh, Tuesday morning of next week, still east 
of the Bahamas with very little steering currents out there. It's just kind of hanging around. And again, there's a lot of questions with that. But uh, as of Tuesday morning, that should be still well to the east of Florida, well to the east of the Bahamas, if that's right. And uh, again, we'll just sit back and wait and watch. And let's uh, quickly look at 96L. That thing looks uh, really good down there in the Bay of Campeche. We'll watch that as well. All right, the, the uh, GFS, this is at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock Friday at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Serious uh, westerlies are up north on the Canadian borders, you might expect, down below all of that. Should be a dry day here, mostly sunny with low 90s. Saturday starting off the weekend, here comes Gustav coming up through the uh, Yucatan Channel Sunday. Moves a little jogging, a little to the west there on the on the GFS. And let me just say the GFS has not been handling this thing very well. Labor Day, Monday of next week, it brings it up toward the north, up toward the Louisiana coast. And Tuesday, the thing just kind of gets close to the coast and stops. You notice no rain at all over North Alabama, if this is right, all the rain down south. Wednesday, what does it do? It drifts west. <laughs> And then Thursday, it drifts down toward the Texas coastal plain. And then Friday, the 5th of September, the thing kind of goes into Brownsville, Texas. Are you kidding me? So, again, it's pure model madness. And whenever you got model madness, you just kind of go with persistence. We'll still kind of target that Louisiana coast, uh, Morgan City, back over to New Orleans and maybe Pascagoula, uh, Monday night or Tuesday, and understand there will be changes. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, 13th of September, the end of the forecast period. Again, the prime westerlies are up north, down below that, some kind of tropical system just off the Virginia coast. But again, if we're having a hard time with weather in the next five days, obviously we're not trying to get specific out there. That'll do it for the Afternoon Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. That's ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.